In this set of solved problems, I will discuss typical problems regarding the absolute value of real numbers. In the first example, we consider the absolute value equation, the absolute value of 2 times x minus 1, minus the absolute value of x plus 5 equals 3. To solve such an equation, we must always first get rid of the absolute value signs. We do that by limiting x into intervals where neither 2 times x minus 1 nor x plus 5 changes its sign. We observe first that the absolute value of 2 times x minus 1 is 2 times x minus 1 if x is greater or equal to 1 half and uh, if x is less than 1 half the absolute value of 2 times x minus 1 is 1 minus 2 times x. In the same way we observe that the absolute value of x plus 5 is x plus 5 if x is greater or equal to negative 5 and if x is less than negative 5 the absolute value of x plus 5 is negative 5 minus x. We combine this information to observe that the absolute value of 2 times x minus 1 minus the absolute value of x plus 5 is x minus 6 if x is greater or equal to 1 half. This x minus 6 is the same as 2 times x minus 1 minus x plus 5. If uh, x is between negative 5 and 1 half, we get that the absolute value of 2 times x minus 1 minus the absolute value of x plus 5 is negative 4 minus 3 times x. And if x is less than negative 5, the same expression becomes 6 minus x. So the problem was to solve the absolute value equation, absolute value of 2 times x minus 1 minus the absolute value of x plus 5 equals 3. We have observed that if x is greater or equal to 1 half, then the left hand side of this equation is simply x minus 6. So the equation gets the form x minus 6 equals 3 and the solution is x equals 9. Now this actually is a solution to the original equation since this solution 9 is greater or equal to 1 half. So here we had to check that the solution satisfies the condition in this case x greater or equal to 1 half which was required for the simplification used to get to the equation x minus 6 equals 3. If x is between negative 5 and 1 half, the original equation simplifies to negative 4 minus 3 times x equals 3. A solution of this is x equals negative 7 over 3. And since negative 7 over 3 is between negative 5 and 1 half, this is a solution to the original equation. If x is less than negative 5, the original equation simplifies to 6 minus x equals 3. A solution of this is x equals 3. But this is not a solution to the original equation since 3 is not less than negative 5 and therefore we must discard this solution and we conclude that there are two solutions x equals 9 and x equals negative 7 over 3. In the next problem we are asked to simplify the expression x plus y plus absolute value of x minus y. To simplify the expression, we must get rid of the absolute value signs. 
and here we have cases. If x is greater than y, then x minus y is positive, and the absolute value of x minus y is x minus y. Therefore, if x is greater than y, the expression x plus y plus the absolute value of x minus y is x plus y plus x minus y, and now y cancels out, so this is 2 times x. Similarly, if x is less or equal to y, then the absolute value of x minus y is y minus x. And um, x plus y plus the absolute value of x minus y is, in this case, x plus y plus y minus x. Now x cancels out. So this is 2 times y. So we observe that the expression to be simplified is 2 times x if x is greater than y, and in the, otherwise the expression is 2 times y. And we conclude that x plus y plus the absolute value of x minus y is 2 times maximum of the numbers x and y. In problem 3, we have to sketch the graph of the function f of x, which is defined by the expression absolute value of x squared minus 4 times absolute value of x plus 3. To sketch the graph, we must get rid of the absolute value signs. And now the absolute value signs are nested. We must start from the innermost absolute value sign, and we observe that if x is greater or equal to 0, the absolute value of x is x itself. Otherwise, the absolute value of x is negative x. Hence, if x is greater or equal to 0, the expression for f of x is uh, the absolute value of x squared minus 4 times x plus 3, and if x is less than 0, f of x is the absolute value of x squared plus 4 times x plus 3. Next, observe that x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 is 0 if x equals 1 or 3. One can find this out simply by solving the second degree equation. Hence, x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 is negative if x is between 1 and 3 and positive otherwise. This follows from the fact that uh, the graph of the curve x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 is a parabola that opens up. It takes negative values between 1 and 3, because 1 and 3 are the points where this parabola intersects x-axis, and um, outside of this interval, from 1 to 3, this parabola takes positive values. Then we observe that x squared plus 4 times x plus 3 equals 0. That equation has the solutions x equals negative 1 or x equals negative 3. Hence, uh, the expression x squared plus 4 times x plus 3 is negative if x is between negative 3 and negative 1, and positive otherwise. The problem was to sketch the graph of the function f of x equals the absolute value of the expression x squared minus 4 times the absolute value of x plus 3. On the previous slide, we have observed first that uh, x squared minus 4 times the absolute value of x plus 3 is x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 if x is greater or equal to 0, and x squared plus 4 times x plus 3 if x is less than 0. Then we found out that x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 is... Um, negative if x is between 1 and 3. Therefore, the absolute value of x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 
is negative of x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 if x is between 1 and 3 and it is x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 otherwise. So combining these we get that the expression for the function f of x is x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 if x is between 0 and 1 or if x is greater than 3 or equal to 3. And if x is between 1 and 3, the expression for the function f of x is negative x squared plus 4 times x minus 3. If um, x is negative and between negative 1 and 0 or at most negative 3, then the expression for f of x becomes x squared plus 4 times x plus 3. And if x is between negative 3 and negative 1, the expression for f of x is negative x squared minus 4 times x minus 3. From this decomposition, we can easily sketch the graph of the function f, and it is shown here in this picture. It is the red graph, roughly showing two letters W.